Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. I'm a Christian warrior and I can't have scantily clad women on my thumbnails. What? That was a comment today about you. <laughs> that who's a Christian warrior? This commenter. Here, let me just pull up YouTube. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is Nona. Let me answer. <laughs> Check the links in the description. NonaPhelps.com give you some insurance. Lee Max Media, America's Technology Center of Excellence. For those of you that are veterans or currently serving in the Army, you'll know why that's funny. Uh, let's see here. YouTube Studio. Blah, blah, blah. They were saying that they were a Christian warrior? Yeah. Yeah. And how dare you for having a scantily clad woman yeah. on Holy your shit, podcast? That short is blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about a chicken with its head cut off. Lots of people comments. Yeah, yeah. What What are the people saying? Let me zoom in because I can't read this. Yeah, shit. I can't see that. Hello. It's like world's tiniest. Hello. React to me. Well, I apologize, uh, all you Christian warriors out there, for being a woman. Period. Let's see here. No, 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 no. As a Christian patriot, I can't have such scantily clothed females in my thumbnail. God bless. And my response was, "Good thing I don't care." <laughs> God so, bless you. Welcome back to another episode of All Time. Uh, yeah, that that I told you. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm like this. Story is gonna be so funny. It's hilarious. It's it's really short, cut and dry. And then two likes. Yeah. No, not even two likes. Two views. <laughs> oh, cut right to the heart. Yeah. And then the dumbest, yeah. most offhand. Yeah. It's, doesn't make any sense. To Five thousand. Yeah. Okay. So what's see, it out right now? Uh, three point seven thousand. Wow. In two hours. In two hours. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> For our tiny little channel. And I that was supposed to be the so there's gonna be another one at seven PM because those are our our good times for shorts are twelve to two. Okay. So I've been trying to play around that came out right at two. Okay. When people three. are on their lunch break, yeah. scrolling on their phone, eating their sandwich. Yep. Okay. Um let's see here. Do we have any other good comments? So, agreed. Agreed. So my the title of the video is, Would You Go to This Grocery Store? <laughs> agreed. Agreed. <laughs> not yes, not For no, those of agreed. you that haven't seen the video or the full episode from Monday, 50th episode, um, I was actually, so I'll talk about both videos because okay. they're it's a back-to-back -back segment. Right. The first part, we're talking about lobsters that used to be in grocery stores yes. with tanks. Yes. And I said, wouldn't it be cool if you go to the grocery store and just be like, I want that chicken. And the butcher would just grab it, hack its head off right there while you're getting your produce. <laughs> Clean it, got it, give you your breast, wrap it up, mm -hmm. throw it in your cart, fresh, right? Right. And then we rolled into you talking. And that's basically, that's the entire short. Is that what I just explained? Mm -hmm. And that's blown up. No idea. For And for whatever reason, we have these weird ebbs and flows where I'll post a short and it'll go... 12 hours with no views. And then in the middle of the night, I'll wake up and I'll have 20,000. Like from like, <laughs> like what are you guys doing at 4 a.m.? From like 1 a.m. <laughs> to 3 a.m. It gets 20,000 views. And I'm like, why? What are you, what are you, why did you watch that at that time? <laughs> so yeah, uh, the only problem uh, is that I'd have to cook and prepare it ASAP for the best taste. Okay, sure. Have you ever heard of livestock? barn farmer's market yes but they typically don't do a farmer's market at least not the ones that i've ever been to have you ever been to a farmer's market where they butchered the animal right there nope yeah so i don't i don't know that that's a thing i'm sure you, you can buy them there or pick them but they're not going to do it in front of you and your seven-year-old the only farmer's markets that we have here they have already prepared the meat, I bet packaged that's, it, I bet that's everything. Something, I bet that's something that they used to do like at fairs. Yes, I could definitely see that. Yeah. You won this chicken? How do you want it? Yeah. 
<laughs> Alive or dead. Yep. So then my second, the second part of that, uh, or this, the second video that's coming out at 7 p.m., um, was talking about those themed restaurants like Dick's mm -hmm. and Medieval Times and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And what I thought would be funny or cool and interesting is if you had a place like we would call it Slab Town, Slab Town Slabs, I think is what I said. Right? Slaughterhouse Slabs. That's what it was. Slab Town is a burger place in Tom, yeah. Traverse City, Michigan. Yeah, you did not say Slab Town. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, yeah. Slaughterhouse Slabs. I said Butcher House first and you said Slaughterhouse. And then I said Slaughterhouse Slabs. Yeah. So, so here's the here's the premise. It's a fancy, nice, sit-down restaurant. Okay? You have yes. to go there. So fancy. Listen, 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 Linda. Suit and tie. Okay? Suit and tie. Sit down. I would love to see you in a suit and tie for the first time ever. So if it takes having this restaurant be created just so you put on a fucking suit and tie, then sure. So sure. So you walk in and you have pristine award winning pigs, cows. You got that four million dollar cow. The smell though. No, they would have it like you know the how Smell. So listen, listen, you know how when you go to restaurants in certain locations, not here in North Carolina, but like in Indiana, they have this where you have the smoking section is glassed off so you don't smell that. And then you have like the HEPA filters. So you walk in. It's like, um, what's the steakhouse? Logan's where you pick your steak when you walk in. Is that the right one? I don't know. What's the steakhouse that the kids always get that gift card to from school? Oh, Texas Roadhouse. It's not yeah. a gift card. Whatever. You walk in and there's the, the butcher counter right there and you pick. The steak. I've never been there. Oh. And the kids were going to go for the very first yeah, time I, I with them. you. Yeah, I took them. No, you guys never even walked in. Cash Cooper. No, we did go. You said that there was like a three hour wait that or something. That was the first time that we tried to go the day that they got the things. But they were still, they're valid like all the way until October, I believe. And you've been since then? Yeah, Cash Cooper and I. When? Cooper! <gasps> Cooper! The kids are hiding in their rooms, by the way, for anybody wondering. <laughs> so while we're waiting for I, him. I had no idea that you had <laughs> taken them. Yeah. I didn't know. It was only the boys. Cooper! Do you remember when we went to Texas Roadhouse? Right. So, so you guys were supposed to go yeah. on Valentine's because yeah. that's when they received the yeah. coupons from school. So it wasn't it wasn't February. And it was you, Cash, and I. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Where was I? <laughs> Where the fuck was I? I don't know. Sleeping or something, maybe? Who knows? I don't know. Um, I had no idea. So anyways. Sleeping. sleeping. Jesus. Make me sound like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you went somewhere with the girls because that would have been the only reason why they didn't On come Valentine's, me. you had the boys. I had the girls. We did a Galentine's, the girls and I. And then well, you we still boys went to were we going to Buffalo Wild Wings. Right. But. I don't know about this magical repeat a week later. I don't know. Anywho. Anyways. <laughs> so you got like, you walk in and you can have like glass wall stalls, right? Okay. So you have these pristine stalls that are cleaned regularly so they don't smell. Okay. <laughs> and then you just walk in you're like, you know what? I really like that pig right there. And I like those chickens. You have them slaughtered right there in the glass room so everybody can watch. So you get the gla the blood, the psh, blood all over. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Throw them on a hook, mm -hmm. send them back to be butchered. Mm -hmm. And then. And what about all the excess? Yeah. You bring your ice chest, your big cooler with you, and you have them pack it all in your cooler. Is ice chest like a Midwestern term for a cooler? No, that's what they used to call freezers back in the day because right, they literally. I know. I just. Nobody around here says ice. Chest. That's no. That go ask a fisher. They'll call. They'll call the big cooler that they take on their deep sea trip. They'll call nice it ice chest. chest. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay. Because that's basically, it's basically just ice. Right. And then whatever you throw in there, alive or dead. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, right? Good idea. It feels like a mobster thing in a way. <laughs> Don't you think? Pay up or you're next. No, no, no. no. Like, yeah. No, the suit. Yeah, if, the, you, if you can't pay for your food, no. you're going to be hooked and butchered next. <laughs> no, the suit and tie, you walk in. You observe it. Is that why you don't wear a suit and tie? Because you think that would make you a mobster? Sure. Oh, my God. I'd make a good (laughs) mobster. I'm sure you would. I'm not disagreeing with that. People just look at me and be like, "Mm, let's just give them the money. Mm, Sounds like a good fucking plan. So put on a suit and tie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now that we've recapped the last a couple episodes ago, <laughs> instead of talking about any new content, uh, make sure you like and get subscribed. We should have just finished our 1,000 subscriber giveaway, but if Hell we haven't yeah. yet, join in on that that whole shebang, depending on how that goes, mm-hmm. will be what happens with the next one. So if it goes well, I don't know. Depending on how far. So we, we overshot 500 by a lot. Which is good. We won a 500 and we hit almost eight. So if we can do that again for 2,500, we can incentivize people for that. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know what that's going to be yet, so I'm not going to commit to anything yet. But All right, mobster and, man. Go ahead and jump on that train, okay? Um, you mean the Tangent Express? Yeah. Choo-choo. Boop, boop. Everything else that I have... Uh, the hurricane, hurricane barrel, I guess is what it's called. B E R Y L. How else do you pronounce that? B Ryle. <laughs> How else would you pronounce it? Oh, no. yeah. So apparently it weakened uh, to a category three, Aww. Uh, which is how Florence hit us. Mm-hmm. Um,. I guess it's not going to come up the coast anymore. It looks like it's going to go into the Gulf and hit the Yucatan Peninsula. Isn't that what that's called? Yep, that looks like a good trajectory and it can stay just like that because I have no interest in evacuating. Well, depending on what it does in the Gulf, it could still come out and come across. I don't think we'll get more than a lot of rain. We need it. All those ponds are empty, and that oh makes God, it worse. The storm we had last night, whew, that was did a you, good one. Did you hear? I don't know what time it was, but there was a lightning strike that had to be super close by because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the house shook for yeah. 30 seconds straight. We must have woken up at the same time. Yeah. I was sat there, and I was like, at first, because it was, it was loud enough and the bed was rumbling that I thought maybe it was an earthquake. Oh. And I was like, I laid there for a second. No, I thought you farted. And then, whatever. It literally, was you snoring. I literally thought you farted. It was and you woke snoring. woke me up with how nasty your fart was. Whatever. And then I realized it was thunder. <laughs> Barrel is a historic storm. <laughs> so is a historic fart? Yes. You have historically loud farts. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm, that's Chloe. <laughs> Don't embarrass her. She is proud of it. What do you mean embarrass her? <laughs> She's not proud of it anymore. No. Up in, up until about six months ago, she would refer to herself as the fart queen. And um, it's no longer cool to be the fart queen at okay. 12 years old. Barrel is the earliest Atlantic major hurricane recorded behind Alma in 1966 and Audrey in 1957. It's also noteworthy for how quickly it intensified. Became a major hurricane in 39 hours. Wow. So. Hopefully it downgrades in 39 hours down to like a we're tropical. Per, we're predicted to have an above average season with 17 to 25 storms and 8 to 13. They've been saying that for the last three years, but I do expect this year to be pretty nasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hope everything in D.C. gets destroyed. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's just send all the hurricanes to D.C. Yeah. That's unfortunately not going to happen. 
But it should. Okay. Should and are not the same thing. We just need to go find those scientists that are working on those cloud seeding oh, yeah. experiments. And just oh, yeah. They're just experiments. They're not lay, actually happening. We'll lay the red for... carpet all the way to D.C. for each storm. Okay. Yep. Looks like... Looks like it's moving f- f- pretty fast. Mm-hmm. So that's good and bad, I guess. I don't know. It's bad if it's moving slow while it's sitting on top of yes, you. Yes, that is not good. Mm. You turned this whole town into an island for us. Yeah, well, not this town. We weren't in this town. We were in the other town. Mm, it turned Wilmington in a little bit into an island too. <sighs> Four, 40 was flooded out for several miles. 17 was flooded out. So it was, it was Wilmington and Leland. I remember that people were... didn't believe those pictures. And we've never talked about this on the podcast, but I do want to bring this up because okay. it annoys me every time the I used National to go to... The National Guard? Yeah. I knew you were going to talk about that. You... The... Oh, my God. <laughs> the location <laughs> that they filmed the commercial, which mm-hmm. I'm assuming only played North Carolina because it was North Carolina Probably. National Guard. Um, 1774, 76, 133. Mm-hmm is a whole clusterfuck intersection in Leland, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And they filmed a uh, helo rescue as if they were um, doing helo cast and rescuing people from the water. Mm -hmm. That intersection, I know for a fact, because I drove on it before, during, and after the hurricane, never flooded. There was never water there. The, the BP gas station got wrecked. Mm-hmm. The whole lean-to thing got right. knocked over. And okay. that Circle K, which had just been built, mm-hmm. got pretty fucked. Mm-hmm. But there was no standing water there. Mm-hmm. There was standing water further down 17 yep. and 74, 76. Mm-hmm. But now we're there. And they played that every time I went to the movies a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm for like years after Florence. It's always, you know, National Guard. That's the only intersection where all those roads come together. Right. And which, if they had gone just 10 miles down the road, it was actually underwater. Yeah. But they chose a spot that was not yeah. just for filming purposes. It was near the water. <laughs> There's two <laughs> rivers right there. always bothered him. Yeah. Always. That was like one of the first things that you told me when we got together. You were like, did you know? Hold on. (laughs) YouTube. (laughs) Let's see if I can find this video. NC National Guard Flood Rescue. Post Florence. Commercial. Does that sound right? How long? Seven years ago. No, that's actual video. That's video. It's got to be like a recruiting commercial or whatever. Mm. Join National Guard. We're so badass. They need that. Um, they need that guy from the Coast Guard with the balls of steel that was beating on the narco submarine next time. Balls of steel? I've shown you this video before multiple times. The commercial doesn't come up when I'm looking it up, so... Hopefully they were so embarrassed of it that they deleted it and it was never <laughs> to be seen again. Fuckers. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, mm-hmm. sure, maybe people that don't live here don't know. Right. But if you're gonna <coughs> stop dying. If you're gonna do like a I don't even it had to all been CGI too. Mm. Cause they couldn't put water there. But if you're going to do that, maybe uh, set like an exclusion zone for where your ad runs. Like, don't put the ad where people are going to be like, that wasn't underwater. What the fuck is that about? Like, show it to people in Raleigh who don't know any better. <laughs> Idiots. Mm. Uh, Olympic stuff. We got some stuff about that. I don't talk about any of that. So, I believe the Impl- Olympic starts July. In- Impolids? Yeah. The Olympic starts the, the implants. <laughs> July twenty sixth. July twenty sixth, right? The twenty twenty four. July twenty sixth, right? Hold on, hold on. The the twenty twenty four invalids. French French invalids. Yeah, July twenty sixth, right? Sure. 
No, it, verify for me real quick. Because I... I have a theory. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure. This whole article is about Simone Biles, so I don't. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the 26th. I could be wrong about that. But. But. You know what else comes out July 26th? Deadpool? Yes. I and I have 24th. a feeling that that will far surpass the rating. Nobody, nobody, Everybody will be at Deadpool nobody <laughs> watches, watching the Olympics. Most, most of the good events and stuff don't really start heating up until later on in the Olympics anyways. The opening ceremony, people are like, oh, I'm going to watch them march out there holding torches. That's You put that on the background somewhere. Like Nobody actually watches that. Yeah, no. And like... The first couple, like the, it's all like qualifying and things like that mm-hmm. for like the first week. The second week and third week. I think week they're doing one. that right now. No, no, this is the Olympic trials to make the team to go right. to the Olympics. Oh, yeah. I, th- I, th- I thought that no, no. was, you, well, when, I thought that was what you were talking about. When you about. get to the Olympics, there are qualifiers like for the number of teams for your country and within your, every sport is different. That's too much to follow. So they have like, Sports are sporting too hard for me now. No. I think, aren't they going to have flag football this year too? Yeah, you literally don't watch any of this. You only watch Michigan football. Is there going to be flag football in the Olympics in 2024? According to USA Football, the 2024 IFAF Flag Football World Championship is the event's first iteration since the International Olympic Committee. IOC announced the inclusion of flag football in the 2028 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. So the answer the is no. Even more fuel to flags already skyrocketing popularity. It's the first iteration. So they're just running Who knows? in parallel, but you won't actually get a medal? Because they're impotent. <laughs> My words are not wording today. Why, why, why would people actually watch flag football, though? I don't know. It's fine for an eight-year-old to play. It's fine for a bunch of old, washed-up, has-been, alcoholic men to play. So are you going to go play? It's not okay (laughs) for athletes in their prime to play. We want to see you destroy each other. We want to see broken skulls and broken hips and spinal injuries and concussions. Oh, my God. What? That's what we want. That's that's like a, no why, wonder you want a restaurant where they chop heads off. That's why. No the, wonder. That's why the Olympics were founded. No wonder. So no, this is perfection. This explains everything. Sure. The fact that your only mission to watch football is to see humans get injured. Hmm. Not my team, though. My team okay, does. you want your team to do the injuring. Yeah. You want them to quite literally demolish other yeah. human beings. Yeah. No wonder you want a restaurant where no. heads okay. are chopped okay. off. We need to. No wonder. We need to put the this fear. This is ingrained in your soul. We need to put the fear of America back into the world. Where that the, has nothing to do with the, chopping heads off at the a only, restaurant. We're the only country to ignite not one but two sons. I bet you could humans. go to Brazil and they would have restaurants like that. Listen, we ignited. Listen, Linda, we, I just explained ignited, that this is ingrained in your soul. We ignited two sons over the country of Japan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. We put men on the moon. They walked on the moon mm-hmm. with their boots. Okay. Mm-hmm. With their little, they even rode a doom buggy on the moon. Did you see they were coming out with a movie yeah. about that no. all being fake. So <laughs> the movie looks so weird. <laughs> that's because it's a comedy. They're doing parody. But so all of that, and we crush everyone in the Olympics every year. We cannot, we cannot introduce real football to the world. As flag? Yes. We need them in helmets and pads. Could you imagine a 300 pound linebacker there's, tackling a 105 pound Chinese man. There's wrestling. Oh I'm pretty God. sure jujitsu has been added. Like, why are they so scared to play our sport? They'll, they'll box. Mm-hmm. They'll wrestle. They'll do everything else. But they don't want to play against some corn fed dudes out of Iowa. 
Okay. Because they don't have players. They don't have athletes in their countries. That's what I literally just said. Yeah. But <laughs> that that's what makes it, that's why the sport exists. Because mm-hmm. only Americans can play it? To demonstrate. Because only Americans yeah, can play to it. to demonstrate the physical superiority of the American people. Being big boned. No, it's not big boned. <laughs> we know how to eat and we know how to hit the gym. We know how to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want I want Team America out there looking like the NFL playing against a Pee Wee League. That's exactly what it would look like. I want to see Team China out there. I think there would probably be seven other countries in the world who would you're gonna resemble. Have, you're gonna have Ivan. Um, you're gonna have Ivan from yeah. Russia. But he's gonna be too fucking drunk. <laughs> Stop. You're just gonna now you're now you're bordering racism. No, not, <laughs> yes. they're white. No, so you have you have vodka infused Ivan. Stop. He's gonna come riding in on a bear, thinking it's gonna fucking scare people. A bear. Yeah. Oh god. He's gonna, he's gonna get off his little bear, and the Wrangler's <laughs> gonna come in there and pull the bear back out of the stadium. He's going to line up on the line and Joe Smith from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, who's six foot eight, 415 pounds, is going to get up out of his stance and launch that motherfucker 17 yards back with one push. And he's going to really think that he learned he earned his wings. <laughs> Fuck, NFL college and NFL linemen are legitimately like the they're grown men version of sumo wrestlers for one. Yeah, yeah. But they move fast, fast. and some of them can run, mm-hmm. and that's when it gets scary. Right. When you have You'll rip, get, get your body ripped in when half. you when you have four hundred thirty five pound corn fed brute boy. <laughs> And you just and you just insulted his running back, his his two hundred and twenty pound six foot run six foot one running back. You better not only be fast, but have endurance, because he's fast. And if he catches you, you're gonna have it. There's a there's a movie idea, a horror movie for Halloween. Oh my god! Hear me out. <laughs> you know how Jason. I heard a horror. Movie. You know, how, you know how Jason, <laughs> you know how Jason always walks, but he always I've appears. I've never seen those movies. So he always appears like right behind you, like you can't escape him. Okay, that's what it'd be. But instead, it's he's four hundred fifty pounds and, and he's a lineman, and he's like, because <sighs> <laughs> he just did a sprint, <laughs> but then he's gonna be around the corner again, <laughs> and if he gets his hands on you, it's gonna be a bad day. Bad day. Big bad day. And I actually want uh, the guy, the actor, Terry Tate, whoever played him, I want him to do like the voiceover. Yeah, Terry Tate, office linebacker. What? <laughs> I'm blanking. Oh my God. The It was like a Reebok. Com- I don't know if it was actually officially a Reebok. Oh. Commercial, but- Oh, yes, yes, yes. You showed me this commercial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I was totally blanking. You kill well, the what? Joe, you make some more. Yeah. You know that, baby. <laughs> you can't come into my kitchen, kick my dog, and steal a box full of ball, ball points. Your ass must be crazy. <laughs> I know every line. I know you do. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've watched this one time because he made me watch it. Like, what, three years ago or something? But I think like it'd be perfect for him <laughs> for him to do like the voiceover acting. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so it'd be like it'd be like a dramatized like a um what was movies called where like they narrate the story along. Yeah. Like there's not very much dialogue, mm-hmm. but it's like narrator driven. Right. And it's just him talking shit about how you're never going to get away. 
only it's a horror film, so with undertones of I'm going to fucking murder you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, you're not going to go home because he knows where you live. Right. So some of the horror comes from what he does to your refrigerator and what he does to your toilet oh after. Oh, my God. Yeah. Your toilet. Yeah. <laughs> your dog. No, that's his dog now. I'm in there. Oh, little puppy. Good boy. Come with me. <laughs> what? You're shamanic. Yeah. You're going to be standing off in the corner, your little your little street corner with your street light, crying as you watch him carry your puppy <laughs> out to his oh truck, taking him home, coddling him. Being out to, oh, I Aww. love you so much, my puppy. <laughs> and meanwhile, you're over there. You can't do shit about it. <laughs> You're gonna get murdered by yeah, him. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And it's he's a, in. And he's a in, terrible movie. And he's in pads the entire time, <laughs> just like Terry Tate. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. Call me for the film rights. <laughs> for the film yeah. rights. I will sign right now. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I want a. Uh, I want an executive director credit. I know. Why? I just knew you were. <laughs> you need a good byline. I have the best ideas. With the least Does amount he? of money to execute on them. I do. Everyone knows that my ideas are the the best ideas. Okay. They're they're bigly. just been laughing at you this whole episode. Not laughing with you, but laughing at you. Yeah, that's been with me. Mm -hmm. Did we plug the show? No, do it now. Subscribe. The end. (laughs) Visit the links in the pinned comment as well. Follow our social media. Mm -hmm. Um, Feel free to subscribe everywhere else as well. If you're here on YouTube, turn on your notifications so you know if you win any of our giveaways. Um, we don't know when this episode will come out because this is a bonus recording. So if you're like, wait, that already ended. Sorry. But if you're like, wait, that hasn't ended yet. So jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This so, is, yeah. This is an episode for next week, I believe. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Theoretically, we could have recorded the winner on this one. And I didn't think about it. So this cannot come out on Monday. No, it can't. This might come out on Tuesday the 9th or Thursday the 11th. You're not supposed to put dates and numbers. And or it could come out the week after that. Bonus episodes because bonus episodes are meant to be utilized when our well, life has gotten crazy. Do you remember um, that we don't have an episode 10? We just straight up skipped episode 10. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> if you actually look... So on Spotify, if you're listening on an audio platform, Mm -hmm. there is an episode that's listed as episode 10, but that is not episode 10. What? Yeah. Because you you have to assign um, uh, season and episode numbers. Yeah, we're still on season one, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how many seasons, how many episodes we're supposed to do per season, but I figured a year as a season. Hmm. March 18th to March 17th? No. Yeah. We're going to end our first season before Christmas. <clears throat> no, that doesn't yeah. make sense. Yes, it, it does. No, we already missed a quarter, so it had to be half a year. If it's not half a year, it has to be March. Yeah, it has to be three months, six months, or 12 months. I'm not doing some janky-ass fucking nine-month. What? This isn't a baby? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? You are you are something else. I am Batman. No. Yeah, I am. No. Um depending on how things go by the time this episode, we might have channel memberships set up. What's that? Please explain. Um it's like where you can actually pay to watch exclusive content. 
So that will be, or we put what the, would be the exclusive content? The Tansy episode that we don't want on the main channel. Gotcha. Um, Nona making moaning noises for ASMR. What? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> I think I think it'd be funny. I think we put you in the hall closet with a microphone. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, we just record a loop of you making moaning oh sounds. Oh my god. One dollar a month to subscribe. <laughs> do you know what they would do with that? Yes, I do know. But if they're paying for it. So you're okay with pimping out your own wife? No, it wouldn't be video. It would just be the audio. Right, but it sounds like you're still okay. It could be me. They don't know. <gasps> Nobody would believe that. <laughs> Nobody would believe you that. You do like Eli. So actually Matt Best does all of like the sex sounds for his videos and like the moaning and women screaming. Like, Yeah. His wife doesn't do those sounds. If she's involved in the video, he does it. Why are they having sex on video? Just whatever skits they're making. They're not actually having sex on video. But if it's like, I don't, I'll, I have to find an example now because. No, thank you. I don't need to watch that. Yeah, you do. No, thank you. Yes, you do. You have to. No, thank you. It is your required reading no, thank for the week. You. Yep. Their videos are like five minutes long. You can watch one. Thanks. Yeah. Um, follow us on social media. Say hi. Hello. No, I'm telling them to say hi to us. You looked right at me and said, say hi. So, okay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, our NAS should be here too. So that'd be nice. Our what? Network attached storage, storage server. Is it blah, 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 blah? Yep. All flash storage. That'd be very, very nice. It'll make me happy to offload all the shit that I have on here. All your porn? And, no. Yes. No. Yes. Our episodes actually outweigh all the porn by a lot. Porn is not good quality. It's like 720p. Do you hear this man? <laughs> Do you fucking hear this man? They know what I'm talking about. I'm sure they do. Um, Minus the Christian warrior. But no, then we can go back to 4K again because I don't have to worry about the storage space. Okay. Because our 4K episodes are file sizes large. I'm sure. Mm hmm And that's bye. Goodbye. <laughs>